the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting know your enemy and know yourself and you can fight a hundred battles without disaster all warfare is based on deception the greatest victory is that which requires no battle victorious warriors win first and then go to war while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win he who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not will be victorious the wise warrior avoids the battle if you know the enemy and know yourself you need not fear the result of 100 battles the wise soldier does not raise a second levy neither or his supply wagons 100 loaded more than twice the whole secret lies in confusing the enemy so that he cannot fathom our real intent the supreme art of war is to deserve the enemy's plan there is no instance of nation benefiting from plural warfare when the enemy is relaxed make them wild the best victory is when the opponent surrender of its own accord before there are any actual hostilized it is best to win without fighting the best general is one who makes the fewest mistakes the supreme quality for leadership is unquestionably integrity if your opponent is of caloric temper seek to irritate him do not repeat the tactics when have gained you one victory but let your methods be regulated by the infinite variety of circumstances there is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare the wise find security in defense while the foolish are bold in attacks to win 100 victories is in 100 battles is not a game of skill to subdue the enemy without fighting is the aim of skill a leader leads by example not by force